Guys, my corn isn't doing very good and I need your guys' help to straighten it out. So like I said, my corn isn't doing very good and I'm calling on my gardeners of YouTube, subscribers, whoever you may be, even if it, you see this a year from now, I'm gonna need your opinion on what I could do better next year, even if it's been mentioned a hundred times because this is all new to me as far as growing corn. I know I'm from Nebraska. We're supposed to be corn grown experts, but I'm not. And I would like to know, do I need to bury these things deeper? Do I need them shallower? Do I need to be adding some kind of soil fertilizer to this that will make this grow better? Feed me see more. Don't forget, subscribe. Like I say, all the time. It does us a lot of good around here and it don't cost you nothing. So be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to have a lot more questions in the future with all this stuff. So I have a few things out there right now that I need your guys' opinions on. So first things first, this corn, this corn has seen better days. Now, this is bodacious sweet corn. Bodacious he is. Grows probably about two ears uh, per stock, which is absolutely amazing. The bad part is, is it is super thin. It's super thin. And most of the time it's blowing over. I had a bad incident where everything blew over and I was really curious how I could thicken this up, how I can get this thing going. Here's a prime example right here. You see that? This thing had blown over and now it's grown at a weird, funny angle. But I don't know. What do you guys think? What could I do to get this corn thicken up? Really? really get a get a good stock on it so it'll stop blowing over it'll support itself i know i probably planted it too shallow but ah uh, man i really wanted this to be excess and i might not get a very good successful rate right out of it if i would get another bad storm again another thing i wanted to ask you about this corn the worms that you get on these things so what i want to prevent is silkworms they're not silkworms, but those little miniature corn worms that eat the corn top of your corn crop off. I really want to prevent those. And last year, I lost a lot of corn because of those stupid worms. Now, I'm not totally 100% organic, but I don't necessarily want to be putting some nasty, nasty chemicals on the corn that I'm going to feed my kids. So, if you guys got any suggestions on what I could put on this corn, that's easy. That I can either just spray in one huge thing and not have to dab every single little uh, corn stalk. That would be superb if you guys could help me out on that one. I have been fighting these Asian beetles. They have been putting a huge damage on my corn. They seem to be backing off now, but you could tell. This corn is just getting kind of, it's kind of wilted a little bit. You know, we've been getting plenty of water and rain. I'm not really sure what's going on. It just, it just doesn't seem to be strong and standing out. So I wonder if there's a fertilizer. Do I need to put ammonia on it? But check this out. Those are the Asian beetles that I'm talking about. Those are sitting right up on here on these stalks. And they're just eating all the husk off of this stuff. I mean, they're just going to town on it. There's one right here. Yep, just like this. He just going to town on it. Oh, disgusting. I do know that I could put some age, uh, I could put some beetle traps out there, and I do have them. I'm not really worried about those, but if they wind up chewing all the silks off these things, I said hus. Uh, if they wind up chewing all the silks off these, these should be okay, right? I'm not really sure. I need to ask you guys on that one. I don't have a whole lot of space. As you can tell, I got probably about a 20 foot by eight foot section of corn planted here. Uh, we didn't get a lot popped out on the backside. Don't know what happened there. We planted tons of rows. Uh, weeds kind of took over some of them, killed them out, snuffed them out. But this is awesome. These two corn, corn stalks or corn, two corn cobs, <laughs> two corn cobs per Per stock is awesome. Check it out. We also 
planted our asparagus. I know this is going to be a long-term crop. There's not a whole lot here, but it's going to be enough for what we want. The interesting part is I got a little shoot that popped out. So I know I'm not going to cut it off. We're just going to, we're just going to let these things concentrate on rooting for the first couple years. And then we'll enjoy the sweet, sweet asparagus that will come from it later. But yeah, my cucumbers, pickling cucumbers are doing phenomenal. Uh, these Asian beetles, like I said, they're putting a beating on a lot of this stuff, but I just got to set those traps out. That's not what I want to talk to you guys about. I have a question also about potatoes. Now I know potatoes, they will turn brown and they will die when the potatoes are ready. So knowing this, I'm kind of wondering, are these plants getting ready to die? Or is there something wrong with the dirt? or the way I planted them, or the soil, not getting enough water. That's making them look like this. Before, they were a dark, luscious green. They were flowered out. They were strong, healthy, standing up, great plants. Now, they're turning a lime green. They are getting a kind of a wilted leaf to them, which tells me they're not getting nitrogen or they're not getting water. Well, they're getting plenty of water. I don't know anything about nitrogen consumption with potatoes, but I didn't think nitrogen was an issue with potatoes. But this is what I'm dealing with. I'm not sure if these plants are just getting ready to die off and we need to harvest them here soon because we planned these back in April. So I'm kind of wondering if it's getting close to harvesting time, but I thought we had a little bit more time. So you can tell this is this is what it did. This is what it looked like. These plants, these potato plants were a strong, rich green. They had a good healthy leaf on them. Now they're getting this wilted looking leaf. Some of the branches are dying off, turning brown, and I just can't figure out. And I just want to make sure I'm not doing something wrong. So if you guys can let me You alright, bud? Oh, just walk it off, bud. Walk it off. It is but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. You scraped it good. Yeah, you'll be all right. You'll be all right, bud. You'll be all right. You need a bigger bike. Come on, let's get you inside, put some ice on it. One hour later. Whew. All right, back to what I was saying. Yeah, I need advice on those potatoes. I don't know if this is a naturally occurring where they're gonna die off and I need to harvest my potatoes or if I got some problem with this dirt. So whatever you guys could give me, a little advice on that. It's my first year growing potatoes, be kind. But yeah, our other plants, our tomato plants are doing very well. Our Bella Rosas are kicking butt. These are the Haas Bella Rosa that is suggested all the time on Cog Hill's channel. He's always raving about them. I can't wait to try those things. They are gonna be delicious from what I hear. And then right here, we're doing the mortgage tomatoes, which are supposed to be these giant, giant, like one and a half pound tomatoes. They're supposed to be huge onions. I need some more help with you guys. I need some more help from my peats, my gardeners out there. What is going on with my onions? I mean, I water them. I don't overwater them, but I do water them. I don't know if they if they're dry. They like it dry. Do they like it wet? But these these guys just ain't doing too well. And I'm not sure if it's the raised bed or if I don't have enough perlite in there, but Check these things out. These are these are sad. These are really sad. And I'm kind of ashamed to show them. But you know what? We being real, I suck at onions. Check it out. Man, I have no clue what's going on with those things. My other onions in my other raised bed, those things are huge. I'm almost going to have to cut the tops off of them. So we'll stop concentrating on growing the top so much and start growing an onion. So 
Here, we'll go take a peek at them too. Let me show you these bad boys. They're huge. I mean, those things are doing great. It's a little weedy, but look how big these things are. They are just perfect. Um, I plant them with my other plants. It's kind of be maybe some cross pollination. I don't know. They might, my bell peppers might have an onion taste to them. Who knows? But they're doing so well in that planter. And I don't know why they're doing so bad up there. It wasn't, the only difference is the soil. That's a compost mixture, mainly horse manure, grass clippings, things of that nature. That bed up there is straight up miracle grow and perlite. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe the nutrients really are that great in there. So that's a question I have for you guys. How do I get good onions? Those are the few questions I had, mainly on the corn and these potatoes, onions, that's whatever. They come and go. But I really wanted to get a good crop on potatoes. I don't want to mess it up. And that corn, if it blows down again, I don't think it's going to recover. So I need something to strengthen them up. Get those stalks nice and big, strong, so they don't blow down. So if you guys could help me on that, I'd appreciate it. But like I said, it was a short video. I'm going to have to go check on my son, see how he's doing. I know he's icing those knees down. Cause he ate it pretty hard on sister's bike don't ask me why he rides sister's bike but that's what he likes to do he's got a mountain bike but that's what he likes to do so i'll see you on the next episode of sunny super homestead and i really appreciate you guys watching and hey don't forget hit that subscribe button like i always say it does us a lot of good around here and it don't cost you nothing so we'll see you on the next episode guys mm -hmm.